Hey guys, Jinlux here, back with a new blind playthrough. This is Cosmic Star Heroin. Uh, so this is another game from Z-Boy Games. This was actually released in 2017 for $15. Um, somehow I actually got it for free, though. I, uh, I purchased it as... Um, they did a they did like a special with Cthulhu Saves Christmas, where if you bought that in the first, I think couple hours, you got a copy of this for free. So that's kind of I wanted both of them anyway. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, now, if you haven't played any of Z Boy's games before or Cosmic Star Heron, which which I haven't played this one, but um, Z Boy is he did uh, the Penny Arcade Adventures. He did some of those. And um, he's, I would almost describe him as similar to Weird Al, but for JRPGs. He makes games that are parodies, uh, but they're honestly really good in their own right. And and if you've looked at a, like a JRPG or something before and you're like, ah, it's not for me, it's too slow, it's, you know, I don't like how they stand there and whack each other and take turns, you might actually consider this because somehow he's figured out um the the pacing they they do stand there and whack each other but every turn that you take enemies get stronger and the battle's more difficult so it encourages you to really like hurry up and he i think restores your characters at the end of every battle or at least their hit points not their magic i was kind of kind of waiting to see if the music would repeat or if we'd go into some sort of attract mode um i guess not but this does really seem like an anime beginning, which I think is really neat. Now, uh, just looking through some of this stuff real fast. You can use a gamepad, which is nice. Mm. Oh man, excuse me, I'm gonna yawn a lot. I, I think I got like an hour of sleep last night. I just woke up at... I woke up like right after I went to bed and then I just lay there. So, uh, we could use the keyboard or a gamepad, which is nice. You have all sorts of stuff, but we're doing full screen. And um, something else, though, is this spy directory. This spy directory is... Um, at first, because there's a lot... There's a lot of people in here. I really thought this was a Kickstarter uh, reward. But... It still might be, but I noticed, um... Dave is a character, because I, I did a little test recording. He's like the first character you meet. Arete, in the quotes, that's one of the cards. That's one of the playing uh, trading cards you get. So I think these are actually characters in the game. Mm, that is good coffee. Which is, so that's really interesting. It's like an entire glossary of all the characters in the game. And there's a, there's a lot. So, all right. Uh, like I said, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If it is not your first time, welcome back. If this game looks at all interesting, um, it's a blind playthrough, so you won't spoil too much. Um, but if it looks interesting, I always do recommend people. I know it sounds stupid. I recommend people don't watch my videos and play through it yourself. If, uh... You know, if you if you don't want to get spoiled. So, looks like we have four difficulties. And I like that he says difficulty can be changed freely in game experiment to find the best difficulty for you. Uh, so, tourist for those who love story, easiest enemies, double credit rewards. Agent for those who love victory, easier enemies, regular credit rewards. I assume that's your normal mode. Um, uh, but... You know, having played through Breath of Death 7 um, and then uh, Cthulhu Saves the World a few more times, uh, this might not be a bad one um, because, well, we'll see. He, he does like to streamline his games. So, you know, I can always, hmm, you know, that's an interesting thing if we're going through areas, I might switch to tourist mode and then do agent for the more normal battles or something. Or you could even bump it up. Like when you're grinding, just drop it down to tourist. You know? Make the grinding itself less painful. Less grindy, if you will. 
Heroin, for those who love challenge, harder enemies, regular credit rewards, additional enemy abilities. That is interesting to me. I always like when they don't just buff the enemies, you know, oh, more damage, more health, whatever. It's like, no, give them additional abilities, give them, you know, other more enemies or, you know, change the, the layout up or something, you know? Super Spy, for those who love mastery, hardest enemies, half credit rewards, additional enemy abilities, desperation costs doubled, great for repeat playthrough, I bet. Let's do Agent. We can always change it. And this is super impressive, even though it's very technically uh, sort of simple. These little cutscenes... They're like, you know, I first saw this when I was doing my test recording. I'm like, man, Z-Boyd really stepped his game up. Alert, hostage crisis at Skybreaker Tower. Stepped up his art, too. Or maybe has someone else do the art. Either way, I mean, this looks... It's, it's amazing how... Far. Like, he went from 8-bit to 16-bit. I guess this is 16-bit. Or is this 32? Either way, it's it's really interesting. He's actually been progressing his art kind of in, in line with the, you know, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, what have you. All right, so I guess we're Alyssa. I don't actually... I Normally, I read the description again before I begin these playthroughs, but uh, I forgot today, so... It doesn't matter. It's a Z-Boyd game. It's going to be awesome. All right, Alyssa, I'm here. I'm not going to, every time it changes, I'm not going to read their name. That's too much reading. I will read everything, though. So if you're not, you know, if you're doing something else or whatever, you'll be able to at least hear me when when the characters are talking. See, D Dave. There's an agency supply chest in the alleyway up ahead. It should contain everything you need to get in. Sorry you had to sit this one out. I feel more at home away from the action anyway. Less chance of a sudden violent death. Is he in his bathrobe? I don't... <laughs> I don't detect anything organic in your vicinity. Just stand, just some positronic movement. Standard corporate defense systems, I'm guessing. Nothing I shouldn't be able to handle. How are the hostages? And the characters have different portraits, which was nice. Because it wasn't the standard portrait. She was like, she was like kind of down, reserved, a little concerned. Safe for now, but no point in taking chances. Get in and out before the bad guys realize we're spoofing their surveillance footage. Sounds like a plan. Out. Alright, so normal walking controls. It seems like standard if you've played an RPG Maker or any of z -Boyd's games before. We have diagonal movement, though. Uh, I mean, I believe tab is the menu. Is it system? Oh. Oh, really? There you go. Walk is your default or run. Music. Um, sure. A Renau. Skybreaker Systems. Oh, and it does sound like a spy thing. There you go, Z-Boy Games. Some little graffiti on the wall. Nice. I, I would assume if it's like others... Z-Boy games that there's going to be chests. I really, even though I grew up in the era where you had to click on literally every object and even sometimes the walls and floors themselves, I, I don't miss that it's gone away from that. You know, that's just a huge waste of time. I think that's a garbage truck. Basic tutorial one, style and hyper. Performing different moves in combat will increase your style, the percentage below your health. More style equals more damage and ailment success. Interesting, so it's like a buff. I I, I beat this one battle because I wanted to test the sound, and that was that was it. Enemy, enemies gain style too. The longer the battle lasts, the more dangerous they become. Besides style, characters gain a hyper point each turn. When a character reaches their max hyper amount, they go into hyper mode. Makes sense. In hyper mode, your damage and ailment success is doubled. Plan ahead and make sure you have a powerful ability ready to take advantage of hyper mode. 
All right, we got a robot dog. So, screen layout, character portrait in the upper left. Which I assume that left side is going to fill up with our party members as we get more. 49 is presumably our health. 5% is our style, I guess. I don't know what the red bar is. Um, I don't know, but the blue, I'm pretty sure, is hyper points. On the right side, we have a turn counter, which is nice. Um, which also means we're probably going to... Well, no, I think... We had, in previous games, we had the ability to, like, slow enemies and stuff, or delay their turn, so... You know, that's good. Lower left... Well, the bottom is, like, our description of whatever. Lower left is skills, and I think they said A and S. Yes. A and S is your tabs. Whatever breather is. Defend, restore HP, self, or... Oh, okay. Defend 25% recharges abilities versus this restores HP and defends. Whereas this just defends. Wait, defend 25%. What does that mean as opposed to this? See, we have to experiment now a little bit. Restores HP ally. Something that I do like, though, I noticed this. So, your physical attack, your bash, physical damage one, can reuse. Because presumably, as you... Your abilities... They're single use until you rest and recharge them. So that's kind of interesting. Or... Or, presumably, the battle, right? Because... Previous games, he would... Or maybe they don't carry over between... Or maybe they carry over between battles. Previous games, he would... Um, he had health and magic, and he would restore health at the end of the battle, but not magic. So I wonder... This is like the magic substitute, but still, it's cool. Let's find out. Let's do the pierce damage laser. Robodog, HP 50, weak to water. Just a minor nuisance to a trained API agent. Oh, wait, so the turns go down. I thought it was, I thought it went up, not down. So down, the bottom of the turn is the current person. That makes sense. Well, and so using that, our style increased to 30. Maybe the red is another thing of hit points. We'll use water. Just minor nuisance to a trained API agent. Victory, all enemies defeated. Gained two XP, gained one CR. Must be credits like money. All right, Alyssa is level two, next is two XP. I wanna listen to the victory music for a minute cause I have a feeling we're never going to. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good actually, the music's pretty good. I wonder if he does his own music as well. Um, probably not. I noticed, um, once he started doing the Penny Arcade Adventures, the music quality increased quite a bit, so I bet he's got other people doing it. Um, regardless, it's fantastic. I mean, listen to it, it's like... I like it a lot. It's... I like the little victory poses, too. Right, because this is, well, not the first time. I don't remember the Penny Arcade uh, stuff a lot. I know it was less of a... Breath of Death and Cthulhu Saves the World were both... Dungeon Quest? Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest style, where you couldn't see your own characters, you were looking at the enemies. And then the Penny Arcade Adventures was more like a Final Fantasy, where they were on the sides. Here, this is almost more Chrono Trigger, where they're in the environment itself. Which is kind of neat. That actually makes me wonder a question as well. Chrono Trigger had a lot of positional abilities. Or, uh, you know, if, if you attack... 
maybe an enemy couldn't counterattack because they're moving around and they're too far away. And she puts her thing away in her bag. Oh, is this a sign? It is. Skybreaker Systems, the cutting edge in power and defense. Just says, yeah. Um, hmm. The only, it's just, it is a little difficult to tell where the pathway is. Now that's a little bit more complicated. Uh, cause you know, I'm, his previous games mostly had standard backgrounds. It was just like, this is the path. Whereas this is a little bit more, definitely more cluttered. So basic tutorial two: recharge abilities, programs, and items. Most character abilities can be used once and then they're disabled. Use defend command like rest to recharge your character abilities. Besides their own abilities, characters can also use items and programs. Items and programs recharge at the start of battle. Oh, but can't be recharged mid battle. So that program, which was defend and heal ourselves. Presumably, that's a one use as well. That's interesting. And so items are reusable as well. That's good to know. And programs recharge at the start of battle, but can't be recharged mid battle. So do abilities recharge at the start of battle as well? Is that what I just said? Items are shared by the party. Search for them. Search for item treasure chests carefully to gain new items. Programs are attached to shields. Equip the right shield, and if your hackitude stat is high enough, you'll be able to use its programs. Okay. Hackitude, hacker attitude, I get it. He. This is a comedy. It's a parody. It's a comedy game. All right. In the main menu, you can equip abilities, items, and shields. You can also read detailed information about different abilities, programs, and items. All right. It's good to know. You got a shield breaker. This item makes an enemy take additional damage from the next hit they take. You also got a grappling hook. Are you ready to begin your ascent? Yes or booyah? <laughs> I wanted to say no so I could look at some of the items and stuff, but all right, I guess... I guess we'll go booyah, cause you gotta go with we'll go with hackitude. Oh, that's the treasure chest she was talking. Oh, really? We're fighting here in the in the air, huh? Alright. So yes, this is We can use our No, we can't. That's awesome, because it's X'd out. We can't use our our staff because it's uh well, because we're, you know, ascending a thing. Um, now, of course, this is a reference to Mega Man 2. I feel like it is. Maybe it's not, but you never know. Item Shield Breaker. And then Breather. Uh, all right, well, let's, we'll, we'll do laser, I guess. All right, Grapple, grapple Drone. Skybreaker Tower's anti-grappling hook defense system. Smart. Weak to water. Uh, you know what? Let's use the water damage thing first. See if we can take out one of them. Nope. See, that's... It's funny that that did that. It's just shy of damaging it. So if we had done... Because we have more style now. I mean, we're also hyper mode, but... If we had used it this turn... Well, let's use the laser then on not this one on this one and hope it kills it yep there you go all right well interesting right let's try this because i want to make sure that this can't be reused Okay, so defend was two. 
Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, see, it's it's X'd out completely now. So let's let's try this, recharge our abilities, right? And that healed 23 or so. Strange. Oh! Now it takes three hyper points. Okay, right. So this one, defend 25%. The defense wasn't as good. We took eight damage instead of two. So I wonder if... Well, I don't know how much style points they have now. Uh, so it's conceivable they're stronger, but... You know, it's it's probably like that breather ability was more like an 80% defense or something like that, as opposed to this, which is 25. All right, well, let's, uh, let's laser it. Laser it up. All enemies defeated, gain six. Oh, did we gain a level? No new abilities learned. Level up, max HP plus seven, physique plus one, hackitude plus one, spark plus one, cunning plus one. I don't know what any of those are. Hackitude we know is abilities, or like can you use the stuff that's on like equipment? Spark is magic or tech damage or something. Physique is probably physical damage. All right, let's, uh, okay. Yeah, where did it say we could read the stuff? Here we go. Basic physical attack to one enemy can reuse. Style 25. Oh. Oh, and we have equipable slots. I guess. Uh, let's see, tech-based attack to one enemy that ignores defense. Pierce 180%, style 25. Water spell hits one enemy. Water 150, style 25. Restores HP. Defend. Hmm. Equip. So she has the Steel Striker. Okay, Hyper is the second turn, repeat every three turns. Steel Striker, a good beginner weapon. Fair enough, this is our shield, the Adventurer. 10 physical defense, 10 magic defense. Heal up, oh, is this the, uh... Oh, interesting, heal up, breather, heal wave, and revive. So she can't learn heal wave and revive yet, her hackitude must not be high enough. Ideal shield for the self-sufficient agent. Hackitude require 10. Restore HP party, 28. A revive, restore HP to defeated ally requires 56. Okay, what about stealth satchel? Increases cunning. Difficult to see unless stared at. I guess. Uh, items? Shield breaker. So this is items for the party, I guess. Inflict vulnerable, take double damage from next hit. Also style. What is insight? There's no time to waste. I have to rescue those hostages before anything bad happens to them. Cool. Uh, in my, my only complaint at the moment would be that it would be nice if, uh... Um, the music was a little bit longer because it seems like it, it plays and it stops and then it loops from the beginning and that just seems awkward. Oh, here we go. All right, well, we'll get we'll get more of those probably. Oh, really? Tower's defense turrets were disabled by the initial attack. Whoever's behind this is not messing around. Is there a text speed option? Chan. Hi, Alyssa. Chan, what are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a hand. Bad guys, come quietly. We won't hurt you. Oh, it's too late for that. She's a karate master. 
or she teleports in guns, huh? <laughs> it's very over the top. I like it. Take that. Aren't you supposed to be on vacation? If the agency thought I needed help, they wouldn't have sent me out alone. I was bored. You know I need non-stop action and excitement in my life. Come on, let me help you out here. Chan has joined the team. All right. And it also mentioned hidden chests, which is potentially super annoying. Because I, I really, I really hope they're not uh, not hidden behind stuff. That would be a pain. Pistol, reuse, gunmancy, heal blaster. Next gunmancy affects all targets. Protective barrier defends 25% for party. Okay. I see. Why is it not, um... Hmm. Kumitama? Hyper's third turn, repeat every four turns. Okay. So, I wonder if that's based on cunning. Her physique is... a little bit... and Hackitude are a little bit less. Spark is way higher, but she's probably like our magic user. And cunning is lower. Simple possesses great mystical power. Shield is absorb. Absorb shield. Durable yet inexpensive shield. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Reduces damage from next attack ally. Reduces damage from next attack party. Okay. Right headband increases spark. Colorful and useful. We'll have. I'm sure we'll have to read like what these things do. Basic tutorial three, desperation. Normally losing all HP knocks a character out for the rest of the battle, usually, but not always. If you have enough style points, 50 on most difficulties, you could survive with negative HP. This is called desperation mode. Amazing, isn't it? In desperation mode, damage is increased, but self HP restoration is reduced. Ah. Fair enough, because they don't want you losing the battle. Oh, I see. If a character is still in desperation mode at the end of their turn, they get knocked out, heal quickly, or go out with a bang. Interesting. So it's like... Maybe your whole party is... You know... Is gonna get eliminated, but you're like, well, let me see if I can take out the boss before we all die. That's it for the Cosmic Star Heroine Basic Tutorials. Additional information and tips can be found from talking to different people. Don't forget, you can raise or lower the difficulty if things are too hard or too easy. Good luck and have fun. One more thing, don't forget to save. You can save your game from the system submenu in the main menu. Skybreaker's proprietary backup generators up and running. Primary power core compromised. Backup generators engaged. Okay, more enemies. Huh, she starts with 10% style. Why is that? Um, alright, well. Likes hooligan. Likes to shoot. That's about it. I love, I love the descriptions, honestly. And a thug. He's got a heart of gold, but you'd never know it. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well. They both take 60. Um, <clears throat> damage one. Let's see if we can take him out. Hmm, a little bit weaker. Okay, well, she's in hyper mode now. Let's see if we can water damage this dude. Cool.
All right. Four XP, ten credits. Oh, I like her victory thing. The guns are floating around her. She seems to take more XP to level up, or... Hmm. Well, we'll worry about the more of the tutorials later. Let's get a little bit farther. But my suspicion, then, would be... Oh, wait, that's not... Um, hmm. Oh, let's try Insight now. It's just like Chan to show up unexpectedly, but I can't say her help isn't welcome. We're gonna have to do this after every dialogue. The, uh, the guns she can summon aren't just for damage. Some of them can even heal allies. I wonder how she learned Gunmancy. It's normally taught on the planet of New Loop. If you say so. Okay, well, so you have... Yeah, it's probably physique, potentially. Hackitude. I'm trying to, like, figure out what kind of the... What the equivalent stats would be. So physique is probably strength. Hackitude is probably intelligence. Spark is magic damage. And cunning might be speed, maybe? That's a good question. Oh, we got another robo dog. Oh, there's a chest. You found a poison mist. Poison mist can poison an enemy, causing it to take damage each turn. It only works on living things, though. No robots or ghosts. Don't forget to equip your new item, otherwise you won't be able to use it in combat. So there's ghosts in this game? Organic enemies only. Cool. <coughs> Alright, well... Oh, I see another enemy. I wonder if other enemies can join battles as well. I feel like I've played a game where that happens. Like, you'll be fighting, and then there's other enemies wandering around, and all of a sudden they're in the battle as well, and you're just like, crap! Um... So if she is slower, it doesn't seem like it changes anything. Uh, let's see, well... Absorb shield. Buff. Oh. I'll have to check that out again. Alright. What was, uh, what were we looking at again? Oh, the equipment? Nope, not that one. Hmm. Reduces damage from next attack ally and absorb. Reduces damage from the first hit taken. But I said it buffs. So it's not... It's not defense. It's like a temporary... It's a defense in advance. In advance, I guess? Oh. Defend heals user. Okay. Well, that's neat. Ah, see. Now we have two... Two enemies. 40 credits, I'll take them. Presumably you can avoid enemies, though, but I want to fight these guys. Let's use water. And then... We'll just take this one out, hopefully. And she got bit. A little laser. Hmm. Well, hyper mode. Let's try a regular bash, then. Hmm. Not very strong. Aha! They both got a level up. Excellent. Okay, Alyssa gets Inspire, which is boost damage by 40% for one ally for three turns. Effect halved if cast on self. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Also, part of me is trying to figure out, like, what each of the characters. I suspect we're not going to keep the same party throughout the whole game. Um, hell, even Breath of Death. No, Breath of Death you did. What was the one after that? Cthulhu Saves the World. You... I 
think you got like eight party members and you could tailor each of them. You could, they, they, you could multi-class or, you know, you could make one like Ume. You're what you think is going to be a healer. She's actually the strongest physical attacker in the game if you make her, if you make her that way. Because you get a real healer later. It's, it's really neat. So I'm wondering how this is going to work. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see like, I suspect Alyssa is going to be kind of your, your general purpose. And Chan is probably going to be your... It looks like she's leaning more towards like buffs or maybe AoE damage, something like that. Group, group damage. All right, either way. Uh, so she got H, or sorry, max HP 8, physique plus 2, hackitude plus 0. Interesting. So she's more, she's probably going to be more, more of the physical attacker. Spark and Cunning, one each. Chan did not learn any new abilities. Got five HP, so she's a little bit weaker physically. Did not get any physique, no hackitude. Two Spark, zero Cunning. So she's more of a Spark person, whatever that is. And we're running up. Oh, here's the hostages. Are you here to rescue us? Who are the uh, who are the people in the suits that are allegedly tied up? You betcha. We'll have you out of here in no time. We need to clear the area first. Please hold on for just a while longer. Oh, okay. Oh, Groff, giant robot. We've got what we came for. Let's get our butts out of here. What about the hostages, boss? Who cares? They were only a diversion in case any of those knuckle-headed agency freaks showed up. Hey, boss. Not now. Should we let them know we're here or what? No, you should attack. Well, I mean, whatever. I think they'll figure it out after we hit them a few times. You! Gruff Broxton, you've been deemed guilty of crimes against humanity. Your evil ends now. Okay. So there's three of them and two of us. And what's with the giant robot in the background? I mean, my thought is it's either... it's You think it'll come into play? Or do you think we'll beat him and he'll be like, Later, suckers, and take the robot and run away. Boost damage for one ally for three turns. Hmm. But it's half as useful if it's on... Us. Groff, not a 2-bit thug, at least a 16-bit thug. He's got 180 hit points, though, so we probably need to take the ruffian, the bully with the gun, and the thug out first. Um, I'm gonna say inspire. Now, hyper mode, it wouldn't affect things like inspire. I'm gonna say... She's gonna get Hyper Moon next turn. Let's use it on her. And then we'll see if we could blast Groff with something really powerful. Damage up, all right. Next Gunmancy affects all targets. Um, this is probably what you want every other turn or every couple turns or whatever. Because we're gonna take some hits. Style up. Interesting. He just laughs. Alright, well now she is... He's not weak to anything, though, so let's, let's see if we can hit him. 87, that's pretty good. Alright, she can hit all of them. Okay. Um, hmm. well, I could use one of these recharges. Oh man, we have a, uh, but she needs to get healed. But I think because she's still a little stronger, I'm gonna use the laser. I'm gonna take a risk. 
She's got hyper mode now, though. That's, well... Defense 25% for party, recharge, stuff. I'm gonna heal her. Although we really should, um... Man. Yeah, we gotta, let's, let's heal. We gotta, otherwise she's gonna get hurt. Wow. Yeah, she is still getting hurt though. All right, let's, um... I mean, we can just kill these dudes at this point. Maybe. Uh, let's whack him. Oh, we're, uh... Hmm. Right, so the problem is... Well, okay, so she can rest. That's fine. She can heal. Let's, let's... Okay, he's down. Down, but not out. I don't think I'll be able to take either of those guys. Let's do this. We'll recharge our abilities and, um... Defend everybody. Did that not defend everybody? Oh, she needs healing, though. Uh, yeah. Well, that's sucks. <laughs> Let's try using the poison on him. So did he take... Oh, she's in uh, desperation mode now. Well, I mean, we could do this. Got to do the uh, do the safe safe skill. So with this, defends 25% for party. But it, I didn't see it all over everybody, so is it... Does it mean everyone attacks her? Can I use it on... No, it only uses on her. Hmm. Oh, and I can't, yeah. Well, let's do, um... Wow. Okay, well, whatever. We'll hit him. I need to be better at strategy. I'm, uh... Well, I'm still learning, you know? Alright, all enemies defeated. You think you're so clever sneaking up on us like that, but let's see how you fare against Skybreaker technology. Oh, okay. Interesting. So does this, uh... Is he organic? Micro mech, watch out for the laser beam attack, weak to water. We could try it. Um, but first thing, we're gonna go with Inspire on... Hmm. Probably on us, because let's be honest, the other chick doesn't have a lot in the way of stuff. Right, we don't need to use this. I'm gonna try using... Oh, we should use this. We should inflict Vulnerable. Because that way, next turn, what's her name? Alyssa will go Hyper. And she's buffed. Okay. Water damage. All right. Alright. 
258 out of 350. It's pretty, pretty good. Let's try the poison. All right, so he's poisoned. That's good. Although it didn't seem like it actually did anything there. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you... Considering you have to recharge your abilities, it seems like you actually have to plan in advance. Like, it, there really is a strategy component. You know, it's not it's not like regular... Regular games. Regular JRPGs where you're just like, Oh, I gotta... Oh, whatever, I'll just, I'll just heal when the time is right. It's like, no, you gotta not only plan your healing, but also plan your rest so that you can recharge that ability to be able to heal. Or even attack, for that matter, right? So, dual style. Watch out for the laser beam attack. Yeah, we're... Hmm. Fifty-eight. I don't... I don't think he took any damage from the poison. Should I wait and see if he does? Otherwise, this is gonna kill him. Um, let's put this on her. Absorb damage. No, he is taking damage. That was a 12 right there. Every little bit helps. So, you know, even though he's in a mech, he, he himself is still organic. Cool. All right. Level up for Alyssa, but not for... Oh, oh, and there you go. It says next 36 XP, next 1 XP. All right. Ability Vigilance, defend 50% recharge abilities, gain some style. So is that an upgrade for her instead of rest? Or maybe it's, maybe could do it multiple. Okay, level up, four to five, gain six H, uh, hit points, HP, whatever. Physique, Hackitude, and Cunning all get one spark, not. Yeah, so she's kind of even overall. Curse you, agency scum. You think you've won, but everyone in this building is about to die. Mwahahaha. Here's my ride. Bye, suckers. I love that. Oh, ha, ha. Good use of actual, like, sound files. Wait, just a minute. I'm detecting a timed bomb in your area. Class 9. We neutralize the hostiles. Can a defusal squad make it here in time? That's a negative. We only have a few minutes left. Get out of there and we'll try to contain the explosion. Wait. Skybreaker Tower is an experimental weapon facility. Blast it, you're right. What's going on? What's Chan doing there? Never mind, you can tell me later. With all the technology they're working on here, it wouldn't take much of a blast to start a massive chain reaction. That's right. It's hard to predict exactly, but worst case scenario, the entire city could be vaporized. Sorry to interrupt, but a little help would be nice. New plan. Chan, free the hostages and get them as far away as possible. I'll defuse the bomb. You got it. She's running. Oh, really? Well, hang on. I gotta... Let me... Let me, uh, let me save here. I'm gonna run, cause... You never know. Wow, that's some great, like, background stuff. Oh, that's a deep, deep shaft. Here we go. Examine. Found it! Right next to an experimental power supply? That's one way to make a big explosion. I'm gonna start the defusal process now. Have you ever defused a bomb before? I'm well versed in the literature. <laughs> She's got... <laughs> she has like a smug smile. She's like, I mean, I've read the book like twice. That's not what I asked. I know. 
done, and I'm still alive. Ooh, nice job not getting us all killed. A copter's already en route to take you back to HQ. Achievement locked bomb squad. Cosmic star heroine. This is fun. Planet Hour Now, the world of endless night. That's HQ, huh? Are now General Appliances Incorporated, aka Top Secret API Headquarters. Robots, welcome to Are now General Appliances Incorporated, the world's leader in affordability and reliability. How may I help you? I love that the robots are wearing suits. Oh, they're all wearing suits. Even the looks like cleaning ones over on the other side. And they have a wig, too. One of them's got a, a red wig. That is amazing. I would like to take the special tour. My joints, my joints are aching something fierce. Sorry about that, Chief. Password accepted. Agent Alyssa LaSalle recognized. Welcome to the Agency of Peace and Intelligence. Congratulations on a mission well done, Agent. Just doing what needs to be done. I'm gonna head on in. Take care. Elevator going down. Great music. All right, let's save here and then we will stop. Four slots. I wonder if we should be rotating our saves. That's probably a good idea. It's always a good idea. All right, what about these tutorials? Um, not many. Okay, we could probably read these real fast. Recharge most character abilities can be used once and then they're disabled. Use a defend command like rest to recharge your character abilities. Speaking of which, we did just get one, didn't we? Um, oh yeah, it did upgrade. Oh, that's the upgraded version, I see. So like Chan had the absorb and then whatever the other one was. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, and you get 15 style instead of just zero, just by resting. Cool. Style. Performing different moves in combat will increase your style, the percentage below your health. More style equals more damage and ailment success. After 100%, more style doesn't boost your power unless it's a burst ability. Burst abilities use up all your style for big effects. Got it. Like the death blows from previous games. Enemies gain style too. Longer the battle lasts, the more dangerous they become. All right. Characters gain a hyper point each turn. When a character reaches their max hyper amount, they go into hyper mode. In hyper mode, your damage and ailment success is doubled. Plan ahead and make sure you have a powerful ability ready to take advantage of hyper mode. We did. We used that water thing and we kind of lined it up so that we got hyper mode and then did, you know, 80% of the boss's damage in one hit. Or their health. Desperate. Uh, yep, yeah, basically that looks like the same. Right. Programs. Besides their own abilities, characters can use programs. Recharge at the start of battle. Can't be recharged mid-battle. They're attached to shields. If your hackitude stat is high enough, you'll be able to use programs. All right. Items can't recharge mid-battle. Items are shared by the party. Don't forget to equip your items. Ailment one. You know how sometimes enemies resist ailments? It's not random. For example, if you want to stun an enemy, you need to lower their stun HP to zero. This means if an ailment doesn't work, it's not a waste since it makes it easier for the next ability to succeed. Enemies gain resistance as they recover from ailments, so it becomes harder and harder to inflict the same ailment on them. Neat. Stun is skip a turn. Charm is attack allies, last one turn. Disarm, 30% damage penalty, last one turn. Vulnerable, take double damage from the next hit. Enrage, all hits receive taunt. We'll target the attacker if possible. 25% uh, damage penalty on attacks that hit multiple targets last for the rest of battle. I need to reread that. All hits received taunt. This must be for like enemies, right? So if we hit them, they'll target us. Or something. Or we just or if we're enraged, I guess we target the last attacker. 
25% damage penalty on attacks that hit multiple targets. So, yeah, it's... Yeah. Poison take damage every turn. Only works on organic creatures. Lasts for the rest of the battle. Rust cut defenses in half. Reduces turn frequency. Only works on robotic enemies. Lasts for the battle. Curse, 15% damage penalty. Lowers ailment resistance. Only works on astral enemies. Like ghosts, I would assume. Lasts for the rest of battle. Battle. Want more battle experience? No problem. Just select the battle command from the main menu or from the menu and you can refight old enemies. Note the battle command is not available in all eras. areas. Also, you need, to be yeah. you need to defeat all enemies in your immediate area before it can be used. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Stats. Physique affects max HP, increases physical damage and physical defense. Hackitude affects tech damage and which programs you can use. Okay. Spark affects magic damage, magic defense, and style bonus at the start of combat. That makes sense. So physique, hack, and spark are all basically strength is physical defense and damage. Makes sense. Cunning affects ailment damage, ailment resistance, item effectiveness, and speed. Neat. So that's that makes a lot of sense. They're they're kind of like item-related skills, speed-related stuff, magic-related, tech-related, physical-related. All right, well, that is cool. Let us, uh, we'll save again. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or different, let me hear them. I do read all of them, assuming YouTube tells me about them. Uh, one video only, like 40% of the comments were like memory holes. So I try and read all of them and I, I try and respond to all of them usually within a few days. But if I don't, maybe your comments just gone and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I hope that's not the case, but sometimes it is, you know. What is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? So if you have never been to the channel before, something I like to do at the end of every episode is a unique positive moment. Um, and what that's supposed to do is, I mean, you're actually supposed to do three, three unique positive moments. You're supposed to write them down and like right before you go to bed. That way it kind of has a chance to, you know, how you create new memories like before you go to bed or during sleep. So that way it's like the freshest thing in your mind before you go to bed and they're, they have to be unique. Because the whole point is that you are effectively training your brain to seek out the positive, right? Because everything's so negative these days. You watch the news, everything's terrible. Um, and that makes your perspective more negative. Whereas this trains you to seek the positive. And, and at, at best, or at worst, I suppose, it makes your perspective more neutral. Um, so that's why we, that's why I like to do that. You guys can leave a comment with it if you want. You don't have to, it's up to you guys. Um, what is your unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, I'm gonna go with the cat bed. I got I got the kitties, Manny's in, in that one right now. Uh, I got the kitties a heated cat bed and they love it. They love it, they're always in it. And in fact, um, I had to buy, I'm ordering a, another one because they love it so much. That way they can each have one. So that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.